Hey friends, welcome back to this brand new video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my 2022 minimalist apartment tour. Now I just moved in and as you can see I have a ton of windows so it's going to be a lot of fun to show it to you guys. So let's start here by the entrance and as you can see it's a pretty long hallway. I got my kitchen here already. It's kind of just a studio, it doesn't really have any walls so I can call it my apartment technically. But as you can see, it's massive. It's all open. I'm really, really lucky to have this. You can already see my desk and everything here. That's going to be in a couple of seconds. But let's just start with the kitchen. As I said in the intro, I wanted to keep it really minimalist. But to be honest, I'm more of an essentialist myself. I also want to have some fun. So as you're going to see, there's one purchase that is a bit too expensive. But I'm really happy with it. But most of the stuff here is just really what I need. So mostly just essential stuff. And you can really see that with all the plates I have, for example. Uh, I still need to get some other plates, but as you can see, everything is just matching. That's also really relaxing just to just look at. But as you can see, I only have three or a fourth plate somewhere. I have no idea where it is, but just enough to get by. I'm only living here by myself and with my girlfriend sometimes, so I don't need like eight plates. And that's the same with glasses. And of course, you, you sometimes have somebody over, but even then you only need maybe like two or three glasses or plates more. So even if you want to call yourself a minimalist or an essentialist, I wouldn't even use those terms really in the daily life. But it's more of just a mindset on what you spend your money on and what you do in your daily life so another example is this apartment didn't come with an oven but i bought an air fryer on black friday for pretty cheap and for most things it just works like an oven it's even cheaper than an oven and i gotta say it makes some really good fries <laughs> but that's just what you need i got some stuff here like a skill and some other stuff it's just only really what you need and here i got a couple spices like only like three spices i think and just some salt and pepper of course being budget conscious also just helps you with not having to throw away anything and then there's other closet i've just got some glasses and stuff not really that special and here you can see another thing that's pretty minimalist i guess it's just only having like the stuff you really need i'm only living by myself so i don't need that much pots and pans here as you can see this pan is also really useful i bought <laughs> i really recommend this one i bought this one at ikea and also this thing i'm not sure what it's called in english but it's really useful for flipping burgers and everything also just this flat pan makes cooking a bit more easier i guess i don't know i just like how it looks very clean but yeah that's mostly the kitchen just got some dishes over there and over here i eat with my girlfriend mostly we also eat on the couch sometimes and as you can see i got some fruits here and i got a philips hue bulb inside here you can see the switch here i really like it i finally have a switch to just turn on my smart lights and as you can see i got one there and one in the back there but it's all daylight of course right now so you can hardly see them but these lights are really useful to just create a cool vibe and i also work with my tv it's also a philips tv so so the philips u lights will match what's on the tv it's really cool with watching movies i will show the tv in a bit but let's continue with my kind of office i guess in the future maybe also do a more professional building and room tour because this building is really cool it's almost like a hotel got a lot of lounges got a games room with an arcade machine it's really fun and even on the 24th floor we have a big rooftop lounge so in the summer it's gonna be perfect and i finally can get a 10 maybe but for now let's just show this workspace I used to have three monitors. I broke one when I moved to Amsterdam. And then I tried setting up everything here and I was like, nah, one monitor just looks the best. It's very clean. Maybe an ultra wide or something would look very cool. But we'll see. For now, this works amazing. I have it hooked up to my MacBook and got my mic here. And I even hooked up my mechanical keyboard to my MacBook. But I will keep all the like technical stuff for my gaming channel. If you're interested in gaming, go into the description after this video and subscribe because I will be posting a more in-depth video about my setup. You're probably gonna see this view in a lot of videos probably something like this or with a more blurred background i guess and then here for the last thing with my setup for now it's just holding some stuff but i'm gonna use this little card as like a little small video studio because i can just put my camera on top of here with a little tripod probably this one and then i can just move it around to get some different angles of course by the couch maybe maybe on my bed or maybe some more personal videos i don't know we'll see but that's mostly it for the setup i kept it really basic and that makes it also very relaxing to work at i'll probably show this last and the view and everything now let's continue on to my my clothing space i guess i just got a mirror hey. <laughs> just a place to hang some clothes and everything uh then i got a little plant here got some books as you can see i'm reading a book on sales and on youtube 
got some more notebooks over here. Then I got my little racing wheel for sim racing. I'm a really big fan of Formula One, so, so that's why I got a little wheel to just race on my computer. And that's also what I bought these for. I want to get some Formula One posters inside these. But I think I bought the wrong sizes, so I'm going to get some new ones. And I think I'm going to hang them here. As you can see, I got some little things to just hang them on. But yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun to just decorate it. Maybe I want to get one big poster over here. I saw some really cool ones. I might put them up on the screen right now. But yeah, here I got my bed. This is where the magic happens, of course. You can see I got a little plant there, a little picture. Got another Philips Hue ball. As you can see, we're pretty high up. It's really fun to turn all these lights on and see everything downstairs. They'll probably be able to see my room from down there when I turn on all the lights in the evening. So everyone can enjoy my moving watching experience. But here you can also see a little bit of the view already. I can just open the window for y'all. Yeah, this is very relaxing to wake up to. But let's continue. Let's close the window. As you can hear, it's just quiet. This is what I like so much about this space. I've been describing it as my own place in the clouds. I can just open a window when I want to hear some city noise. And then when I want to focus or just, I don't know, whatever. I could just close the windows and I'm just in my little space. And as mostly an introvert, this is very nice because I can just sit here on the couch and then just enjoy the view. Still feel really connected to the outside world, but also it's just peaceful and quiet inside here. Another Philips Hue bulb here and then some Philips Hue behind the TV, of course. Got my sound bar set up here too with some speakers behind us for a surround sound and everything. Now we can just turn on the TV and just watch some YouTube, I guess. Now that I have my TV set up, I've been getting a bit more into watching movies. So if you got some tips, I really like this Six Underground. Very fun. Ooh, I even see The Office and everything. Too hot to handle. Spicy. So definitely let your favorite movies and series down in the comments. You probably have some good ones to watch. It's a bit hard to see right now, but in the evening, of course, the lights will turn on here and all these smaller lights will go with the tv so if there's a big explosion everything will light up it's very cool i will definitely show that in another tour yeah got my soundboard here everything surround sound already explained that sounds very impressive yeah let's just enjoy the view right now everyone look at this and again if i open up the windows i can open them up vertically and horizontally it's also very nice and just enjoy this wow and there are actually a couple of cool things about this view about here is actually where the germans and the Dutch soldiers fought in world war ii as someone who's really interested in history this is a very special place to just be able to stand and just watch where everyone fought they're down there by the fences they are very old and you can even find a bullet hole impact thing and over there that's where the train used to be as you can see there's a big uh, bridge over there but now everything is underground and here where this gym is there used to be a big car bridge and everything has been replaced by this big red one this bridge is about 40 years old i think if i'm correct but going from some Something old and even older <laughs> to one of the newest buildings here. As you can see, that's the Zalmhaven. As you can see, it's very tall. It's even the tallest residential building in Rotterdam. Got some more very tall buildings here. Then when we move over to this side of the building, you can see the famous cube houses over there. These are probably one of the most famous Rotterdam buildings besides the Erasmus Bridge. And if I open up the windows for you guys, I can even show you guys the market hall. And it's over there. Really careful to not drop my phone. As you can see, it's over there. And again, just look at how high we are. We can even go higher up to the roof. And that's even higher than this building over here. But I will keep that for another video. I already sat down to start editing. But of course, I also have to show you guys the bathroom. And there we go. Just look at this. Hey, we've got a walk-in shower. Very minimalist, of course. Only the stuff that you really need. Who did I expect it? We got a toilet here. Ooh. And that's me over there. Hi. <laughs> but yeah, very relaxing. Anyway, I have to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you a bit. If you want to get something similar to this, be sure to subscribe because I'm going to teach you. So I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you later. Bye-bye.